Welcome back to the RV Critics. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, in case you don't know already, I'm Philip the Punisher Collins. I'm Tyler the Pain in the Ass. And you're Float too. Will you? I don't know. I'm too fat to know. <laughs> Anyways, on this anyway, video, we'll be reviewing The Lion King. Yeah, the new 2019 live action, even though it wasn't live action, but... Lion King. Lion King. Does it stack up to, to the original one? I guess we're about to find out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sure are. I'll let you start this one. Okay. Yeah. So doing all entertainment first? Mm-hmm. Okay. I grew up with the... Damn. <laughs> Sorry, I got mad. <laughs> Just because he knows what I'm about to say. I grew up with the, the original one, the cartoon one. And the movie looked beautiful, but that's not any part of the entertainment part. But to me, it was too drawn out. Things, like the things that they added from the original one was just pointless, pretty much. So, I'm not going to lie, I kind of started getting really tired during the movie. So, for me, for entertainment, I'm going to just give it a 2.75. Sorry. Gosh. Yeah. You mad at this movie. I am kind of mad. Take out your anger, Phil. That's what these reviews are for. Take out the anger. <laughs> well, I'm going to be honest. i would never seen this movie in my childhood. Shame on me, I guess. Shame. I was kind of, uh, like, if you, if you watch the prologue, um, I was kind of restricted on movies. Oh, no. Maybe we haven't got that Yeah, I, I get it, Phil. I get it. <laughs> But, um, I'm restricted, I've been restricted on movies as a child, so I'm just now getting into, like, you know, watching a lot of movies. Uh, and Lion King I watched last year, probably, for the first time. Mm, so I was like, to see it. It, was a, it, was a, it was a good movie, you know, I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty good. You talking about the new one? The old one. Okay. The new well, what one, about the new one? The new one. I also thought it was pretty good. I thought it was... I was excited for it. I mean, I was excited. Maybe that's why I was like that. I was excited to, I think, a perfect <laughs> And I went, over here. I went, I went, and got excited. <laughs> I got, <laughs> and I enjoyed the movie. <laughs> but what did you score it? This guy. Are you in four out of five? <laughs> four out of five. Four out of five for entertainment, I think. So that's six point seven five out of ten. For my two point seven five. Hmm. I wish got that high. It's because of this guy. I, I think he forgot to sleep today. If you can't tell. Probably. I'm going to rip that that little gauge out of his ear. Please don't that hurt. Alright, I'm back to the world. Okay. No, it's, it's you for, uh, does it fit the genre? Does it fit the genre? It's a family. <laughs> it's a Disney family movie. And I definitely think it fit the genre pretty good. <laughs> I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. Oh, <laughs> no, jeez. See what I'm dealing with? Pain the ass. The <laughs> name ain't wrong. I don't even know why I'm laughing. <laughs> mm, they hate to see it. Anyways, just to fit the genre, I mean, it's a family movie. Yeah, so I guess it kind of does fit the movie and animated, live action, whatever you want to call it. Um, but this is probably, honestly, would be the highest rank that I get this video <clears throat> for it. It's a 3.25. And that's just me being nice right now. Not even longevity. Uh, we'll talk about that in the next one. But well, you said 3.5? Uh, yes. And I said 3.25, so that's a 6.75 out of 10. 6.75. Mm. Well, now it's longevity, so there you okay, go, Okay, so I'll take this one. Uh, okay. I, I, I was, somebody asked me about what I thought about the video or, or the movie, and I literally said... The acting was still and like all this stuff, and if you had me choose between the uh, 
animated 90s one or this one, I would literally never pick the new one. That's why I don't think longevity is going to last long. Like, even the new Aladdin, I would pick the new Aladdin uh, every once in a while over, over the animated one. This one, I'm like, hmm, I don't think I stated it was Timon and Pumbaa. And, but, so for longevity, I don't think it's going to last that long once people realize which one's the better movie. Unless you're this guy and didn't really see the original when you were a kid and whatever. Uh, but I'm going to give that one for longevity a 2.5. I mean, it's not trash, I guess. To some. Right. I'm saying 2.5. But, for longevity, see, I think that it's because it's a live action movie of a very iconic, very, very iconic movie. I think just the title itself is going to give longevity. You know, even if it was a very terrible movie, the title itself. You know, in the future, you know, uh, someone's only seen the anim- like the original, mm-hmm. and of course if they maybe they never heard of the you know whatever they're gonna be like okay I wanna watch it or something like that you know, and I think the longevity is gonna last and it's a really big name attached to it, so I'm gonna give that a three point five. Three point five out of five, 3.5 out of 3.5. five, which makes that a six evenly out of ten because on two point five. Uh, as you can see, one of us liked it, one of us didn't like it. Tell us in the comments, who, whose side are you on? My side or his side? Because I was More people here. are obviously going to pick your side. Nah, a lot, I don't know. Anyways, we'll finish with the review part. It's time to get to... Karaoke. Which is another level. Another level! The Purge. Purge. Anyways, like you said, the karaoke. The karaoke. I know the most exciting part of this video. I'm going first. He's going first. Good luck. Shit. Only because there's a guy, like I know the lyrics, uh-huh. but I don't, like, thing is, it's the rhythm that I mess up on this song when I come to, like, not having the music play. But we're going to figure it out. I picked, okay, I... I'm sorry that I didn't pick a song from the movie, but... Amateurs. But, it's not about that all the time. In my opinion, the song of the video has to do with what I'm going through in my life. You know, what I'm feeling Mm -hmm. at that moment. And I'm feeling the song Ophelia by the Lumineers. Mm. What are you feeling? Ophelia? Ophelia. (laughs) I'm feeling, I'm feeling. (laughs) Don't make me laugh, Phil. Okay. Any, you're good. <laughs> Let me sit back on this one. I can All just right. take it in. <clears throat> oh, Ophelia, you've been on my mind, girl, since the flood. Oh, Ophelia, heaven help a fool who falls in love. You know, all that stuff. Yeah, and then you know, tell me, tell them. <laughs> and all that stuff. Uh oh, got a little paycheck. You got big plans and you gotta move. I think that's all we but. <laughs> and I don't feel nothing at all. And you can't feel nothing small. That's what she said. <laughs> Honey, I love you. That's all she wrote. I probably butchered that, but we're going to go with that. Lumineers are sued for thinking, people think that the song actually sucks now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright. Now me, because I'm a professional, I actually picked a song from the movie. I might not know it by heart, but that's because I know the Elton John version better than the movie version. But... My song is Can You Feel the Love Tonight. Can you feel the love? Can you, can you feel it? Can you feel it? I can feel it, Phil. Can you feel it? <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to start with the Simone and Pumbaa part. Okay. I can see what's happening. What? And they don't have a clue. Who? They fall in love, and here's the bottom line. 
Our trio's down to two. Oh. The sweet carrot crest <laughs> of twilight. There's magic everywhere. And with all this romantic atmosphere, disaster's in the air. Can you feel the love tonight? The peace that the evening brings. <laughs> the world for once in perfect harmony. With all its living things. Okay, I'm the Zoom to Mount Boom part. Thank you, thank, thank you. Thank God. Yeah. Yeah. I can't feel this yeah, good. This motherfucker over here, he he thinks I won't beat his ass after this video is over with. I might have to beat it before the video is over with. Motherfucker. Anyways, let's really hit this movie really quick so these fine people don't have to hear it. Me butcher this movie so much. Okay, let's talk about it. So it opens up with the circle of life. That's not how it goes. No. Yeah, it was but you like know, y'all get the point. Anyway, it opens up. It's great. In my opinion, I thought it was pretty. I like the. I mean, you can't go wrong. It was literally the same frame for frame from the original one at this point. <laughs> I mean, that's, but. But it gets to it, it does the thing, when it, the monkey breaks open the thing and then smears it, Simba, I really like the textures on that part. Textures are really nice. Like, cause, you know, in the, the, in the original, when it just smears and it looks like paint on the finger, that's not yeah, how it, it works. Better than me. That's not how it works, to be fair. But, I actually don't hate the first movie, I don't know why I'm butchering it, but. Okay, uh, so let's get to the part since you talk about that, the part that pisses, one of the parts that pissed me off. In the original one, Scar, the mouse is walking around and Scar grabs the mouse. We literally have to see a 30 second fucking video of how this mouse got the Scar's um, little cave thing. For like 30 seconds of like, what the fuck? I'm gonna see a mouse. Like, I don't really, I don't really care about this part. And then and he like, didn't even grab the mouse. And then fucking just like went the fuck everywhere. Like yeah. he was climbing and shit. For yeah. And you're like, what the fuck? I, I, okay, I didn't, okay, I wasn't paying attention to like how long it, no. Like I was paying attention, but I wasn't paying attention to how long it was taking. But I was just like, oh, that seems normal. But now that I think about it, like, what the fuck was there in 30 seconds? Scene? Yeah, exactly. And the same thing when Simba was trying to I go like for it. the um, beetle. And yeah, how, how that, the fuck did I, he get the scar? Like, scar was that close to Pride Rock? Because right. it made it, it seem like, like it lived on Pride Rock. Yeah. Much. Yeah. And so, I, I mean, I can understand why Mustafa would be pissed off and why he didn't show up to the thing. But at the same time, when she walked away, it seemed like it was a long walk for someone to walk back to the, to the right. pride. And then also, with the beetle, like, if, when I was watching, I was like, why the fuck are we watching him chase a beetle? Well, it was, it was a I know scene. that, but, like, just the way he was doing it, it, yeah. it seemed like it just was pointless out of nowhere type of thing. I just feel like this. I, every actor in this movie, besides Simone and Pumbaa, all the acting was still, and, like, the kid was, like, annoying... Mustafa. You know what I'm disappointed in? I'm disappointed in you, Donald Glover. You, you gotta write him now. You gotta talk shit back Dude, to him. Dude, no, I love, I love you, man. I've seen you at Bonnaroo, but you did. What was that? That was. Well, that was everybody to me. But like I said, beside, uh, I mean, I mean, uh, Keegan Michael Key did good, and uh, Eric Andre did good. Right. But Timon and Pooh was the one that kept. To move together for me, like that was. I want to say, yeah, that was a good. But then after, uh, I think, with me, the reason what kept me going is after Timon and Pumbaa started getting to where it was like, okay, there's enough Timon and Pumbaa, is when they finally get back to, you know, the what is the area called? The mainlands. Pride Rock. Nah. But. When they get back, and then it connects to like the a big dramatic part of the story. Mm -hmm. That's what that's what kept me like entertained. Because once it started getting, because Timon and Pumbaa did keep a good bit of it together, but then once they started getting boring, then I like latched onto the 
the dramatic part. So I did like how uh, I think it's Nadia or Nadia or whatever the uh, lioness. Nala. Nala. I don't, I'm sorry. I, Even listen. I know. Um, but when Zazu. Um, I like Zazu. Yeah. Zazu. When he sac- pretty much sacrificed himself when she's about to get caught from yeah. sneaking off from trying to find out. And he goes, hey, Scar. How you doing? Like, he was actually pretty good. I do like Zazu. He, he, he did a pretty good job. But, like, Scar, he was just. To me, it was just bland with everything he did. Mustafa, like. I just thought the voice acting was subpar for the movie. Mm. The voice acting yeah. was pretty bad. Yeah. Like, it looked beautiful. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm I'm not taking that away from it. It looked beautiful. Besides that dung, also the dung beetle. That, that was funny. I was like, what the fuck? Why did we watch that one? Because oh, it was the that. hair from... Yeah, but why do we have to watch, like, a 15-second part of it? No, that thing was long because it was drafts eating. And well, then they pooped that, it out. Yeah. And then he's tearing it. And then it breaks apart. Then it goes on the ant. You know, it's just like, okay, we really didn't need to know all the stuff. It would be more magical just to say that he caught it in the air. Right. You know, but... Yeah, it is true. It is like anyways. Um... But, like, I like the part when uh, Timon and Puma was in the forest. Like, first of all, when, um... Um... God, I can't think... I can't think of the name now. What? Um, Simba. Right. Uh, when he, when he kept singing Hakuna Matata, he goes, Oh, my God, he's singing it again. Yeah, he's like, Why do we have to make this our theme song? Yeah. Something like that. But then when they go to the forest, he's like... Hee, 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 And then all of a sudden, um... Uh, What's your uh, La, La, Nala? Nala runs out yeah. of nowhere. <laughs> oh, okay. It's funny because uh, they were talking about uh, how dying or whatnot. And he's like, "Yeah, I almost just got or died or something like that." Whatever he said, but that uh, that was funny to me. Mm-hmm. That was hilarious. But then you know, get the back to Pride Rock, and I'm just like, eh, you okay, know. I want to skip back for a second because there's something back. that I honestly, it's a small thing, but it made me feel good inside. Is when, uh, you know, where uh, Timon and Pumbaa, or is it Pumbaa? Pumbaa? Yeah. And uh, Simba were sleeping together. And, uh, Laura, what kind of movie is this? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, though? <laughs> when the lady looking at the stars? Yeah. Uh, I thought it was funny. <laughs> I thought it was funny when Seth Rogen laughed, like you actually heard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to be in the movie. I, f- I thought they were going to be like, don't laugh. Yeah, no, <laughs> but, that was pretty funny. Or so that, but then you actually hear his laugh, and you're like, what the fuck? But, get back to Pride Rock. And th- see, there was a couple things I was different. Like, don't get me wrong, yeah, good to make you different, but, all. but like, okay, so Zazu was never kidnapped. So it changed the whole atmosphere of, like, when, when the original one, when Timon and Pumbaa run in, they try to hide, or Timon hides, and he goes, uh, Zazu's like, let me out, let me out, and he goes, let me in, let me in. And then it was just because, what do they call um, Pumbaa, like fat or something like that, or thick? The chubby? Yeah. Or no, it was like chubby, I think. Yeah, something, chubby! And he goes, oh, yeah, I might run from his... hyenas, but I don't run from a bully. Yeah, and then you know, they like, in. Mm, yeah, I'm like, mm, you know, I mean, it was alright. But, obviously, just like in the original one, Scar fucks up. And try to get when he, um, Simba tells him don't come uh, come back, and he's like, "Oh yes!" And he throws a fire in his face, and see that's another thing. They said that that the hi- I can't remember what he said about the hyenas in the original one, but this one they were like they were scavengers or what? Why was gonna kill them anyways? Yeah, and that that was different. You know, I don't know. This it didn't make him seem like. That's threatening or whatnot. Honestly, I felt what I was annoyed by was the fact that, like, they made Scar seem like a little bitch in this movie. Yeah. Like, the way he looked, he looked all manged and stuff, like, weak. And, like, the way he looked all, like, you could see his ribs and stuff. Yeah. Like, he was a weak lion. And, you know, he wasn't a weak lion. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I know what you're coming from. Anyways... We ain't gonna try to keep this video too much longer. But I liked it. <coughs> That's what I gotta say about it. I and give it a. We already reviewed it. You <laughs> need to give it another. 
Uh, Actually, it's your turn to open this cookie. Fortune cookies. Oh yeah, fortune cookie of the week. I know we've never eaten these. Only when I actually decide to eat them. That's gonna be a fun day. They look like pancakes. Hey, we can do that for a day if you start paying us. Okay. And the you yeah. will attend an event and meet someone you admire. Oh shit. What's funny about that is me and him has two concerts coming up. We got a 50th anniversary of Woodstock that we're going to. Uh, and? And we're going to go see, not this, oh, uh, well, I guess it don't matter because we don't want to see this, but August 3rd, Papa we're going to go Roach. see Papa Roach, Asking Out of Tangier, and Bad Wolves. And I, Papa Roach is my favorite band of all time, so I'm going to go see somebody I admire. All, all I'm saying is it, meet us there. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah, come meet us. Uh, like let us sign your babies and all that, you know. Or boobies. Um, you know, I wasn't gonna go there. Oh, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, you know how they have a shaking hand and kissing babies, um, uh, signing babies and kissing boobies. I mean, that, would, <laughs> that, would, that works. Anyways, that's gonna do us for this video. Yep. Have uh, a good. Stay classy. Thank you.